What up to my sneakerheads all around the world? Welcome to another edition of Crew Kicks. Hope everyone's having a great Friday, a great start to the weekend, and today we've got a great episode for you guys. If you didn't know, my name is Kais, this is Crew Kicks, and um, we're gonna have a great episode. You guys ready for this? As you can see, I've got a few different sneakers in front of me, and what all these sneakers have in common are that they are Nike, ID. So for some of you guys, you don't know what Nike ID is because you're living under a rock. Nike ID is a service that Nike provides that lets people like me and you design our own sneaker with the options they provide, letting us customize um, the sneakers they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the Nike IDs that I currently have. Okay, so the first pair that I'm gonna show you guys are these right here. I got these in junior high. I honestly don't even know what the name of these are. I believe this is just a regular team basketball shoe, but I could be wrong. So this is the shoe that actually I found out that you could customize your own shoe on Nike.com. Um, I saw some girl in my junior high, she had a black and yellow version, which was our uh, junior high color colors. It was a Thornton Thunderbolts. And um, I saw them and I was like, what the hell, she has her name on it. So I asked her, I'm like, hey, how did you get your name on it? And she says, oh, go to Nike.com. So I went to Nike.com, I saw that they let you customize these basketball shoes, and at the time, this was before I started playing basketball, so I was just getting this for fashion because I was all about like mm -hmm. matching colors and things like that. As you can see, it was actually stitched in, unlike some of the newer Nike IDs where they don't let you stitch it in, but stitched in on there. They, I also put HCH on the back, which was my wrestling name at the time. I was a big wrestling fan at in the junior high time of my life, and me and my, me and my cousins and a couple of my friends would wrestle, so I put that on the shoe. I definitely didn't play basketball in these. I was actually eight and a half at the time when I got these, so there you go. If you guys know the name of these, comment down below. This is the first ever Nike ID of mine. The second Nike ID that I ever made was a pair of Kobe 4s and as you can tell, I did hoop in these and I beat them up. Um, Kobe 4s, by far my second favorite Kobe of all time. Kobe 8s are my number one favorite Kobe's of all time, but these are amazing basketball shoes, comfortable. I still shoot around in these, I don't hoop in them just because um, it's just kind of worn out down here and it just hurts my foot after a while and it's just like all ripped up and things like that and These again was back when uh, back when Nike ID actually made good quality sneakers This was quality right here like you can see again stitched It says amazing which is kind of like my little nickname I gave myself because my last name's Omar so I put amazing that was around the time that Kanye came out with uh 808s and Heartbreaks and the song Amazing was really popping so I, I kind of went with that type of theme. As far as the colorway, there is no specific theme that I went for. You could kind of see the purple flywire in there with the purple laces. My favorite color is orange and I just thought it would look really cool with a gray shoe and a black bottom. So I hooped in these a lot in different leagues, um, in the Afghan basketball tournaments. I beat these up. I got my career high in these. So. Yeah, they're super beat, you can see like that. And also on the back, I got the QO. So it's pretty dope. I really like how they let you do all the stitching on the older models. And um, yeah, that's the Kobe 4. This will never leave my collection. I love these, even though they're creased up and beat up. But um, Kobe 4s, yeah. I think this, uh, to my knowledge, this was the first Kobe on Nike ID. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I believe this actually was the first Kobe on Nike ID, so. This might have been the first signature sneaker on Nike ID, actually, so. There's the Kobe 4s. Moving on, um, there was a time where I really didn't Nike ID anything, and then I started to get out of sneakers, and then I started to get back into sneakers, and then uh, I never really ID'd anything, like I said, but then I got back into it, and I started back up with these right here. This is the next shoe on my Nike ID list. It's a Nike Roche Run. Now this colorway obviously is inspired by what else? The Yeezy 2 um, solars and um, the cool thing about this shoe is this is the first, like the first day Nike ID released the Roche Runs. Uh, everyone was going crazy for the, uh, the Yeezy color because they had this mint bottom that they don't have anymore. They took it off and People are really mad about that. Look, I really wear these a lot, you can tell, but that's that mint bottom. And then you got that um, pinkish red inside. 
and then I did Air Yeezy on the back, which I wish I didn't do. I wish I could. I wish I put Yeezy Season, but I did Air Yeezy on those. And basically, I mean, there's not too much to show you. Basic Yeezy colorway. Um, I did beat these. I've worn these so much that the swoosh actually half ripped off. And um, again, I like how this, the Roche runs are stitched in there. And the reason I say that is because I'll show you one of the Nike basketball shoes I have that isn't stitched, but. Roche Run, really happy I picked these up before they took the options away of the mint bottom, dirty bottoms, but um, yeah, uh, can't go wrong with these. I've been wearing these for like three years now, two, three years now, and you can wear this with any outfit, so. Okay, next up, we'll go with these right here. As you guys know, Kobe 8, I did a lot of Kobe 8 IDs. I think I did like four pairs, and I only have this one left. This is a hoop, the, my hoop shoe, I hoop in this one. It's cool to wear your Nike IDs casually, but it's a basketball shoe. So I definitely want to hoop in it, and I want to feel like I have my own player exclusive when I'm on the court, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I always try to hoop in the Nike IDs I make. There's a few that I don't do, but uh, as far as all the Kobe models, I always try to hoop in uh, the Nike IDs. And I did have, uh, I didn't have any Kobe ID 7s because I wasn't a big fan of the 7s. The sixes, I regret not getting any of them because I really like the sixes too. But that's when around the time when I wasn't really into sneakers again. So I came back, once the eights came out, I fell in love with this shoe for casual wear and mostly for basketball. Even though Kobe tore his Achilles in these, I know. But when they added the, the shedded skin Christmas option, you know I had to get it. And um, I did two versions. I did this version and then I did one that was inspired by uh, uh, red bottom when they, when they added the black spikes but as far as basketball go this breaks a lot of necks on the basketball court just why would you have spikes on your basketball shoe and the theme I was going for with this is a sample Yeezy that never released and um, I'm a huge Kanye fan as you guys know so I had to do it with these and this the skin just was pretty dope and I couldn't I couldn't say no purple a lot of people think I went with the Buzz Lightyear theme on these but no I didn't I regret selling the two easy ones I had but sometimes you just gotta let go you know moving on after the eight we got these Kobe 9 IDs blue man a lot of people are all up on that red sneaker but to me a blue sneaker is so dope so Ashley my girlfriend got me these for my birthday last year she gave them to me and surprised me in Hawaii I gave her a list of things I wanted for my birthday and this was one of them. I told her that I just wanted the Galaxy uh, option on a Nike ID. The nine stitches in the back, she chose that. The gold swoosh, she chose that. Um, the fly wire, the silver fly wire, she chose that. Black laces, she chose that. So she did a really good job. I really love this shoe, like really, really. This blue glow is ridiculous. Like I could just have my room light on and then when I go to sleep and turn it off, this thing is glowing as hard as my easy twos glow it's crazy and that gold swoosh is just so sexy like i love gold swooshes on sneakers and with that blue galaxy it just pops off so so much i'm not a crazy fan about the kobe 9 but i love these shoes i don't hoop in this one i like to wear this one casually i just recently wore it to disneyland and i didn't have her id the back because it was not stitched it was the regular printed on or whatever it's called the, the number with the name and I didn't want that so I just got the stitch uh, the, the, the nine lines and um, yeah oh and this glows in the dark too which is freaking sick this part right here this all glows in the dark which is ridiculous so this shoe just has a crazy team theme to it um, I call it the Mamba Galaxy and um, yeah so thank you to my girlfriend for these and let me know what you guys think of these. I really like these. You can't ID them anymore if anybody's wondering. All the shoes I showed you guys so far, you can't ID anymore. But um, you can ID the Roche runs, but they just don't have the mint bottom option. So now I'm going to show you the shoes that you actually still can ID. And um, you might not have the same options in a few of them, but you can still ID them. Let's start out with my favorite LeBron that's come out since the LeBron 9, which is the LeBron 12. This shoe right here represents LeBron coming back home to Cleveland to help bring a championship to the Cavs. I say Cavs are going to the finals. Obviously, I'm repping Curry because I'm a Golden State boy and I hope the, the Warriors go. As a Bay Area supporter, I want the Warriors to win. 
as a basketball fan, I feel like the Cavs are gonna win. But that's just my opinion, and let's get back into the shoe. So, when the LeBron 12 was added to Nike ID, a lot of people didn't hop on it, but I did. And I'm happy I did because the overlay option they have is no longer available, which is maroon. I thought a maroon sneaker would be so dope, especially this colorway since he's back in Cleveland. I wanted to kind of represent, the, I wanted this shoe to represent his homecoming. So that's what I went with. I didn't base it off another sneaker colorway or anything like that. I went with the all maroon body, gold swoosh and gold laces to try to represent him trying to bring a championship home as well as the gold speckles on top of that maroon. It just pops at you, look at that. Tell me that's not sexy right there. Tell me that is not sexy. Look at that gold swoosh coming at you. Makes you wanna just rah, like the lion that he is. And then I just really like the LeBron 12. Such a comfortable shoe. I don't I don't hoop in it. Um, I did the clear bottom by the way and the navy shank to go with the navy inner. I don't hoop in these shoes. LeBron's are just not hoop shoes for me. Definitely, I wear these regularly uh, with some shorts on a casual day. My favorite thing about this shoe is that they brought back one thing, stitching. So as you can see, the inner is stitched. It says 07 Dream Crew. I don't know if you can kind of see that. No, no, this one says Crew Life. I put Dream Crew on the other one. On the other one. This one says Crew Life. Um, you guys know what that represents already, but once they added that stitching in there, oh, it was a, it was a gimme. I had to, I gotta take it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna name these the the return. This is called the return shoe. Next up, bam, another LeBron 12, but this time it is the All Star Edition. As you can see, the differences in the back. This one has the pull tab. This one has the I, the All Star. I don't know what the hell. It looks like a vent. Um, what else is different on this shoe? Um, the tongue is different. You can see the different tongue design. I was gonna go with an Air Mag theme with this, but it just didn't look right with the options they offered. So I saw this yellow, um, yellow uh, posit. The I forgot exactly what it was, but I was like, yo, that kind of looks gold. So what I went with is the Grammy Night model that LeBron wore. It's a PE that's never gonna release, and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna do that on my LeBron 12. So I did it on my LeBron 12. It came out super close. Like, that basically looks like a a gold. Like, am I wrong or what? In person, it looked like gold. Maybe on camera, they look different, but to me, they look gold. And I did the faded white and black on this back part, faded white and black on the bottom, faded white and black on the shank and just a black on black overlay. And the craziest thing about this is I didn't even know, but this inner swoosh is 3M. Dream Crew, QOP, 2015, and on the other shoe I put 100,000. So this shoe not only is inspired by LeBron's Grammy Night theme, but this shoe right here is inspired by my uh, reaching 100,000 subscribers on my main channel. Now, I kinda messed up. I should have done a silver theme to go with the silver play button. Let me bring that out for you guys. My 100,000 award, so you can see 100,000 subscribers. So I went with this shoe, so I kind of messed up. I should have done a silver uh, posit to give it that uh, that uh, kind of more of a matching to the 100,000 plaque. But when I do reach a million subscribers on the main channel, I get the gold one. So maybe I'll switch this over to the gold one and I'll make another sneaker to rep this one right here. So that's the theme I was going like this. And um, yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh yeah, and then let me show you. Put this right here so y'all can see this in case y'all forgot. <laughs> I showed you guys on the other one. The other one had uh, 12 dots. Well, this one has stars. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because that represents his 11 all-star appearances. He didn't make it to the all-star game his rookie year, but... There you go, you can kind of see the stars on there. And I love that black on black with the matte. Oh, that's just so... Unfortunately, I believe they took the all-star option off so you can no longer make these. But if you were able to make something and similar to this or even a LeBron all-star option, then good for you. Next up, probably the ID that breaks the most necks. The one that everyone is asking about. The one that people ask me if this is a, a, a custom or if it's a PE or if this is coming out. No, this is a Nike ID. It is the Kyrie's. Now, Kyrie is the newest Nike signature athlete and they added his first signature shoe to Nike ID. I wanted to do something different. I actually saw these 
on eBay because I was on eBay and it's weird because you I didn't know this but people post their IDs on eBay and you'll find some brand new things on there for like retail and the good thing about it is you don't have to wait a month to get it you know you get it right now because it's already made but I saw somebody trying to sell their extra pair on eBay and they wanted like 200 and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna split it with my homie uh, Swaggy Diddy so Swaggy Diddy has other pair so this is two different shoes we bought this shoe Nike ID, so I took one pair, I have one pair, and then we bought this shoe, so I took one pair, I took one pair, and we put them together, and that makes the Kyrie, what the Kyrie inspired by the what the Kobe ate. So, as you can see, very similar. Like, look at that, very similar. And we'll go ahead and get into it, man. I'll give, I'll show you guys individually each one on these little spikes right here. I did the purple with the blue. Now you can still make these on Nike ID. So if anybody wants to make these, go for it. A lot of people tweet me in pictures or tag me on Instagram saying, "Oh, this guy copied you." Look, it's Nike ID. People are gonna do the same things. I don't care. I'm not one of those people who cares who does it first. If anything, I want everyone to be able to get the same shoes I do. So. Go for it, make these, show me that you made them, and you know, just have fun with it, man. It's not a, it's not a competition, you know what I'm saying? So, um, glow bottom, these don't glow, but I had to do the glow bottom on these, and come on now. It's just, it came out too perfect. The inners, the swoosh, the, the two finger underlay, like, so dope. And I did the maroon tongue, it kinda goes with the purplish tongue that they had. And then you kind of see that gold lace lock. I got that from Sneaker Con. That's not from, uh, It's not. it didn't come with the shoe. I threw that on there, but let me show you guys some close up so you guys can see. I think I did a really good job. As far as the ID, I did not change the ID design because again, it's not stitched. And I left the, the Kyrie logo, signature logo on the inside. And I made that glow in the dark, so. That's that shoe. Now let me show you the other shoe. That's the cool thing about this shoe is that I have two different shoes to show you. This shoe right here <laughs> came out really good again. Check that out. Okay, um, let's just compare. You know, you got the vault swoosh, green bottom. Uh, that 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 forest green matches well with the forest green on here, and you can't really see it too much, but there is orange speckles on here the way there's orange speckles on there it's not as bright but then you did the orange speckles on that part and then you just got that uh poison green inner forest green tongue um like an infrared red on the on the base of the shoe with the orange two fingers right here glow bottom on the green these don't glow but i still went with it just so that this shoe and this shoe both glow at the same time to make it crazy and um <clears throat> I'm losing my voice right now. This is probably one of my favorite Nike IDs I've ever done and This is true that definitely is not leaving my collection and uh, Let me know what you guys think of those lace locks. Do you think they go good with the shoe? I think they just make them pop a little more than they already do so um, And again, yeah, like I said man, uh, go ahead and make these you have the option to make these the Kyries are one of the cheapest shoes on Nike ID that you can make out of the signature models so definitely, you know, take advantage of that. Yeah, so those are pretty much all my Nike IDs and my 100,000 plaque. I wanna see what you guys have in your Nike ID collection. So go ahead and if you guys wanna tweet me your pictures, it's at Kai Somar, or you can Instagram the picture and tag me at Kai Somar, and I'll go ahead and check it out. That's it for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy Crew Kicks. I know I didn't have like a full sneak peek for you guys, but not every episode is gonna be like that because I wanna switch it up and make it uh, different than what you expect so anyway hope you enjoyed let me know what was your favorite id out of all the ones i have thank you guys for watching and remember the most important thing about the sneaker community we must wear our sneakers <laughs>